Welcome to the weather forecast for the week, oh, should be weeks, beginning Wednesday, August 3rd. That was last time, 2022. I'm Chief Meteorologist John Insworth for Longmont Public Media. Yep, getting back in the groove and swing of things back in my normal studio. Uh, Friday, August 5th will be our first quarter moon. I think I had it off a little bit in the last video. Uh, solar activity is pretty quiet. we got one sunspot kind of pointing at Earth right now, so we're a little bit under the gun. But uh, mostly tranquil solar surface. Looking at drought for the last couple of weeks, uh, we see nothing really changing on the western side. We see drought on the plains right into Longmont get a little worse. So we're on the edge of severe drought and moderate drought for Longmont. We definitely need some more direct hits from some waves of rain, but that's coming. Taking a look nationally, stuff on the southern plains with all the heat has definitely gotten significantly worse, and the monsoonal flow that just won't quit this year is uh, eating away at drought in Arizona, getting them as good as they've been in years. Look at precipitation. Uh, this doesn't show up yet in the drought data, but uh, definitely in the Northeast Plains got some good amounts of two inches and greater. Uh, Four Corners area down here got really dumped on well also, and a lot of the high mountain locations got nice rain. Almost everybody got a little something. Long Rock kind of got mixed, or mixed right there. Taking a look at our uh, severe weather animation. I'll keep this going into October because it's kind of fun to watch the climatology of it, but starting back at the last week of March, we can see into April, severe weather chances increase across the nation. We're into June now. It was the first, second, third, that's weird, uh, fourth week of July. I looked and that's what the data really was. Going from the fourth week of July, we still have elevated chances of uh, severe weather and it backs off just a little bit in the first week of August. So not out of the woods, severe weather is still possible. Looking at the next three days, because that's all they do, unless it's really a significant event, uh, we have just a chance of general thunderstorms except out on the eastern plains for Wednesday. Thursday pretty much statewide has a chance of thunderstorms and the same with Friday, uh, even though it's going to be pretty dry and very hot. Looking at the surface, uh, analysis, we have a cold front coming down, we'll see this in the model data too, under the Great Plains. When you have that, you get some severe weather up ahead of it. We just have our general mountain storm chances. For Thursday, we have mountains in the southern, southwestern part of the state has a chance of rain, <coughs> thunderstorms, with some uh, heavy rain flash flooding possible here in northern Arizona, New Mexico, eastern Arizona. And then western Colorado gets into the heavy rain possibilities for Friday while the eastern plains kind of bake. Looking at smoke, we have a number of fires out here in the west, and that smoke is largely going past us to the north. It's really nasty up here, but we are getting some backing down and drifting down in. So we are getting air quality advisories and some haze in front of the mountains, and that's where that's coming from. We do not have any ignition sources here in the Four Corners states. Look at the next 10 days in the ensemble. Our high temperature max uh, is now dropping. We've gone from 90 down to 88, 89 at the beginning of this period, and nighttime temperature is dropping from its peak at 60 down to 59. Sea temperatures largely stay in there except here at the Thursday, Friday uh, spot where it's also drier. But the weekend definitely looks pretty stormy. Next week starts kind of dry. Later in the week, there's a hint that the storms come back again. It's wherever that moisture plume goes. So we're going to take a look at that moisture plume. Right now, the high is centered near the Four Corners, a little bit uh, to the west. That's sinking air over Colorado, being as close to the high. It also means that the moisture is having to travel further to get over here. Some notable upper air and, and synoptic map uh, moments in the next week. Uh, we're taking a look at Friday when we have the real heat. We have... <coughs> Hold on a second. Sorry about that. This was quiet. But uh, we have southerly flow just starting to come back with a high moving from four corners up into Kansas. <coughs> that is the severe uh, 
heat. We're going to see probably 100 degrees or so. Looking at Saturday, the high drifts off to the east, and now it opens up the flow to bring moisture in. And that moisture becomes really abundant. The green shading here is precipitatable anomaly uh, for water content in the atmosphere. So we are way above normal for the amount of water available for thunderstorms to turn into rain and dump on you. Sunday morning we have a cold front coming down. We'll see this in the animation as well. Uh, there's a warm front heading up here. And on Sunday the moisture flows even uh, better. We have this coming out of the uh, Gulf of California, Pacific, and uh, Gulf of Mexico. After that, the high rebuilds in the west, and we have a big ridge, and the heat comes on again, and the moisture again gets shunted off to the uh, west. So we get some of the moisture heading up here, pooling in the western states, and some of it is heading off to the east on the southern Great Plains. So let's take a look at the animation. We uh, really, the big story is where's the ridge? And so we have the circulation right here of the center of the high pressure. And the Friday, it's kind of right on top of us. Then this trough starts to push it off to the east. It's out here in Kentucky area. And we get our stormy wet weekend. There's a big low rolling out here in the Pacific. But it gets, keeps, just stays right there as the high comes back on Wednesday. And then looking a little bit later in the week, that trough finally starts to push into the ridge. We can see the gulf opening up again, the flow from the south bringing that monsoon over us. Um, the most interesting thing here is to watch a big cold front at the beginning, coming down to the plains while we bake under the ridge. Here comes our cold front from a little further west. Keep an eye on it as it comes down to the state really quickly. There it is. And then cutting a really sharp line cold air for on through Monday, uh, not cold, but cooler than normal, and then the heat comes right back for Tuesday. So this cool uh, anomaly down here is just due to the large amount of moisture, kind of keeping the daytime highs from raising. So the real map for this time of year, that don't even bother to show in the winter, is this precipitatable water anomaly. So all the green is above normal. The blue is extremely high above normal. So when you get a blob like that, you might have uh, some flooding going on. There it is going right over Yellowstone, which had floods earlier. It's a big, deep river right over us on Saturday, Sunday, Monday. It begins to get some dry air in here for Tuesday, Wednesday. Another gigantic blob going over Idaho and Montana. Probably it might be the remains of a tropical system. I'd have to zoom out and kind of track back. There's a tropical system down here. And so later next week, you can see the river's kind of back. I'm just going to take this through the weekend because you can see the afternoon widespread showers and, and embedded thunderstorms. For Friday, we're pretty dry. Everything is confined to the southern mountains and western slopes. And then for Saturday, the low forms and here comes the storms covered in northeast for the afternoon, northeast plains. There they form again in the mountains, cover the state again. And then on Monday to Tuesday, it dries out pretty quickly. So for the next five days, the mountains should do pretty well. Uh, pretty widespread inch amounts of water. On the plains, it's not much, but it's, it's, there's some chances except here in the southeast. Uh, the amount of precipitation for the next 10 days is pretty significant. That's some big bullseyes north of Durango. The mountains do really well in the 1 to 2 to even 3 inch range. So we start kind of cool uh, Wednesday. We shoot back up Thursday and Friday as the ridge builds and the next front is approaching, which also helps to compress the air. And we probably will touch 100, if not in Longmont places close by. Uh, a couple cold fronts knock us down to 80s and then low 80s on Sunday. Still low 80s on Monday with pretty good chances of showers and cloudy skies over the weekend. Next week we start to warm up again and dry out. It's the beginning of a new month so we can take a look at what the uh, weather surface is saying. We haven't had a great track record with them but they do seem to have noticed that the monsoon has been going nuts and not giving up. And so now they have below normal temperatures in the center of that flow, pretty much including us, equal chances of uh, 
above or below normal temperatures, and slightly above normal chances precipitation with much above normal over Arizona and Utah Four Corners area. So for frequent weather updates, local news, Longmont Leader and BroomfieldLeader.com. This has been Chief Meteorologist John Unsworth. Keep looking up.